This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom 100,000 blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm just as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Farlands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Que pasa, hombres? Mi amo T-Rex se doble V. Anyways, guys, uh, hey, it's me, I guess, because I'm making this video. Who else would it be? Somebody hacked into my channel. Whoa, we're getting some lag. Um, we are back in the 100,000 block journey for our continued, uh, 100,000 block quest to destroy our ring of power in the fiery inferno that is... Forgot the name of it. Mount Doom. Yes, there we go. Um, so we are back and we have some questions, uh, to, uh... You guys have submitted plenty of questions for me to answer, um, so I'm going to get right to those. Let's, uh, we'll just start walking. This should be a far walk. This is going to be day... If we did one, two, and three, then we did four and five is one, and six and seven is one. This will be, this will be days eight and nine, so, um, we're not, we won't be able to check our current status until the next episode. So, uh, let's just dive into these questions real quick, um, because I don't really know what to talk about. So, we'll just get into these. Um, Nick of Time, you, your questions are my priority right now, because you, um, asked, you had some questions on the last episode, day six and seven. Oh, hello, pretty horses. I do not have anything to feed you. Um, so I will not have. Oh well, well I could probably. I can. I can tame him. I can tame one of them. Uh, hello. What is? Oh, okay. What is your name, Horsey? I, w I, I want to tame you so that I can just ride over land faster until I have to ditch you behind for a boat to cross a great stretch of sea. So can 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 you just let me just let me on you, please? Please just just do it for me, real quick, horse, horse, ho horse, horse. Hello, hello. Hello? Did I get it? Did I get it yet? I did not. Anyways. Oh, no. Almost have it, though. Nick of Time asked me, uh, do you think Terraria 1.3 would be worth the wait? Well, from the spoilers I've seen, it looks really good. I can't wait for the Lunar Boss, uh, event. I just, ha I just, oh, we tamed it. I just want to finish, um, oh, and it's fast. I just want to finish all, everything we have left in Terraria 1.2, um, the boss battles, at least before that, and those boss battles that we have left are uh, the Pumpkin Moon and the Frost Moon events. So I want to finish those up before we get to the 1.3, so that I can just do the Lunar Boss Battle and continue in that world. But the all the spoilers that have been posted, like, what was it, Dyed Mounts and stuff, and Laser Rule accessory, they look really good. Um, so... They're, it's Terraria. They're not going to screw us over with this update that we've waited for this long. So, yes, I do think it will be worth the wait, and yes, I do think it will be a very good update. And I'm hoping that it will be a very good update. Because Terraria, if Terraria doesn't get the update it deserves, it, I'll be sad, but the devs are good devs. They'll come around, along, they'll listen to the, to the outcries of the community, and they will they'll fix whatever mistakes they made. Um, so thanks for your question. Number two, in your opinion, what is your favorite video to record? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of mixed about Terraria, recording Terraria. I love the game, um, but recording it, some weeks it's just like, or some days it's just like, yeah, recording Terraria Let's Play or Living Underground or something. I'm, I'm generally more willing to record uh, Living Underground, but then some weeks in, um, when I'm trying to record... I just won't have any idea for an episode. I just won't know what to do. So those are the weeks that I'm not as thrilled about, or those are the days I'm not as thrilled about recording. But generally, Terraria is my favorite to record. Um, I really like the the rebirth of Trex Plays that I'm doing because Trex Plays was originally supposed to be an edited series, and it was edited mostly at the beginning, and then it kind of dwindled a bit to where I was just playing the game with occasional edited videos. 
And now I'm trying to get back into the full edited. That's why I moved it from two videos a week to one so that I would be able to edit it and make it fresh, make it funny, make it entertaining and something that I would want to watch. Um, so I do have a lot of fun uh, recording tricks plays as well, but probably for the most part Terraria. So um, yeah, I hope that answered your question. Uh, number three, what kind of setup do you use? Well, I have a uh, custom computer I built myself, and it's pretty pretty nice. I, I I really like it. It used to not it used to be powerful enough so that it could play game it. It can play games really well, but the only bottleneck I was having was my graphics card. And the graphics card I used to use was a AMD Radeon R7240, I believe. And so that was kind of a bottleneck for when I wanted to... Oh, oh, you, yeah, you're going to die. You are going to die if I don't do anything. So that was kind of a bottleneck for games that I wanted to play. W w will you get some air, donkey? You weird horse thing. There you go. You happy now? Um, but I have a, uh, Raid Max case, I don't know what type of case it is, but I know it's Raid Max, it's white, it's like stealth or something, because cool computer cases say stealth in them. Um, I have a Blue Yeti microphone to get this audio, and then internally I have a Blu-ray disc drive and a DVD disc drive, I really only need the Blu-ray, uh, both from Logitech, I don't know their exact model numbers, but one disk drive. If you have one disk drive, you pretty much have all the disk drives, because disk drives are cheap, and th they're really only for getting the operating system on the PC. Um, internally, I have a GTX 750 Ti, which does what I need it to do um, very, very well, so much better than the old Radeon I had. I have some RAM from some place. I think it's called Viper Vengeance from some brand of RAM. Um, this is a good idea, picking up this horse. I have a um, Crucial SSD that I'm using as my boot drive. I'm just transferring everything over to it. I haven't got it set up quite yet, but I am doing that, and then I'll be using that to get faster boots and such. Um, I've used some, I have a Western Digital 1TB hard drive. I have a Corsair 750 watt power supply. And I have an AMD um, 8 core or 8 4 gigahertz 8 core pro 8 core processor, which is really good. And then the motherboard is um uh here one second. Let me actually check what the motherboard is. Um, I'm just gonna go to my closet real quick. Hopefully, hopefully my phone is still picking this up. It's a ow 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 that hurt. Okay, uh, so my boxes, holding my computer parts, just fell on me, which was not fun. I feel like Justin Bieber getting hit by that water bottle. Uh, it is an MSI 970A G46 motherboard. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I think it has the name of the RAM. Yeah, uh, Patriot Viper RAM. And I don't know where the processor is. Windows 7, of course, I have... Windows 7, because Windows 8 isn't that great. Hey, that rhymed. Um, also have a Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition keyboard. I didn't like the regular Black Widow keyboard because it had, it, it just seemed too long for me. Um, so I went with the Tournament Edition without the keypad. Uh, Razer Abyssus mouse. Some webcam of some sorts and then I have dual monitors which is very nice and very useful I highly recommend if you ha if you can get dual monitors you do get dual monitors and one's an AOC I don't know what model it's very nice 60 Hertz um, 1080p and the others an old psyche TV monitor that I found uh, but it works per it works perfectly fine uh, pictures just not quite as clear on the very very minuscule details. You can notice that the picture is not quite as clear. It's a psyche of some sort, 1080p, 60 hertz monitor. It might be 59 hertz, but really, there's no difference between 60 and 59. Uh, what else do I have? What else do I have? I just have some sort of Sony headphones that I've been using for a while. They're they're 
$20 headphones, they're probably whatever you search up for Sony $20 headphones. Um, I have a sock covering my bl uh, Blue Yeti mic instead of a pop filter because pop filters are for hashtag rich people. Yeah. Um, so I just use a sock. I change it out occasionally so it's not too, too filthy. It just has some ingrown toenails and such in it. Anyways, I th think that's about it for my rig. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, I just have like a... Oh, I have a Seagate. That's what it is. See, oh, that's lava. Seagate uh, 1.5 terabyte external hard drive that I just use for storing things externally. Which is very useful. Um, because I just get a lot of extra space. And if... It, it works fairly well. Um, so yeah, I th think that's about it for my rig. Oh, yeah, speakers, speakers. I have some Logitech speakers that, if you look up Logitech speakers, that's what it'll show, probably. Uh, they're the Logitech speakers everybody with Logitech speakers has, so I have those. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for my rig, as I've said now for, was that the third time? Anyways, number four, if you could change anything about Terraria, what would it be? Uncrafting table. Think about it. If you accidentally mess up on a recipe or something and you make the wrong thing, you can just uncraft it. It'd be so useful. Uh, you can, you wouldn't be able to like, I don't think we'll be able to sleep here. And that's why you never dig down, kids. Um... You wouldn't be able to, like, get stuff, get materials out of something, but you would be able to break it down a stage or two, which I think would be very useful, and I really, really would find helpful, especially for the Let's Play. So, yeah, uncrafting table. Um, maybe mod support, because I think there could be some really cool Terraria mods, and there are Terraria mods, it's just not practical to install them. Um, so, like, Full functional mod support. Where's my workbench? Don't have a workbench. That's a problem. Or maybe I had one but left it somewhere or something. Uh, let's craft ourselves up a bed. So yeah, mod support, uncrafting table. I think that's about it. Oh, don't have any doors either. Um, I'll just make the rest of my wooden planks. So let's uh, just sleep the night real quick. Uh, sleep into the night. Uh, so that's what I think I would change about Terraria. What other games can we expect to see in Let's Plays in the future? Well, um, I, w I said in one old video that I wanted to do Sims 3 Let's Play. I don't know if I ever will. Um, I, want I want to do a second part to next car game. That's a very old Let's Play on my channel. Um, where I play the actual racing mode and the actual game as opposed to the tech demo. Uh, I want to do some replays of tricks of some of the old tricks plays that were decent and funny to me at the time, but either aren't that funny now, or I just like to redo the game to sh show it show it off better, or I'm just annoyed with my voice in those old videos and would like you guys to watch these newer videos. So you know, redo some of those old let's plays probably. Uh, I don't know what else to do for tricks plays. If you guys have any recommendations. For Trex Plays, that'd be great. You could just leave your suggestions in the comments below on this video or any video, really, because I read all my comments. So, yeah, and if I own the game or if I can find the game, I'll probably do something like that. Um, alright, and that is all for Nick of Time's questions. Thank you for your questions, Nick of Time. Sorry I wasn't able to get to them in the episode when you actually asked them. Now, let's get to the questions from the previous episode before. I screw those people over too, and don't answer those their questions. Um, number one, who do we have? Uh, we have Terraria exclamation mark once again. He asked me, "Do you think uh, the Hobbit Battle of Five Armies had way too much action?" Well, let me get started on the Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. Now, as you may know, The Hobbit is quite possibly my favorite book, although I do really like To Kill a Mockingbird, um, and some other books. So. For oh gosh, that's not a good way for Peter Jackson to have such a legacy be behind him with the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is incredible, by the way. Um, and then to try and use that power to make the Hobbit 
it it just didn't work in his favor. It didn't make a good movie. Um, it made money, that's for sure. But did anybody enjoy it that much? I don't. I don't think it was really anything people are going to be talking about for uh, for years as they've done with uh, the Lord of the Rings movies. So, and then action. The the action was fine. I just don't like that they at, essentially ripped the book in half, threw it in a fire, and then whatever words and letters they could fish out of the ashes, that's how they built their story. I didn't like how many plot lines there were going. I was afraid one of the dwarves was going to trip on them or something like that love tr love plot line with Keeley and Tariel or whatever her name was. I don't know. The she-elf that wasn't even in the book, along with Legolas. He wasn't in the book either. Didn't need to be there. Didn't really add too much. Um, uh, I just didn't like that. I the the action I think was fine there, but I just wish it was practical action like um like in the Lord of the Rings as opposed to just five thousand faceless CGI orcs going to battle against ten thousand faceless CGI elves, um yeah it, I think Peter Jackson was just using his using his previous projects to um to guarantee a success for this project and it was successful. But it just wasn't very good or very enjoyable. So, I wouldn't say I thought there was too much action. I w would say that it wasn't really a good Lord of the Rings Middle Earth movie. Um, so, yeah. Next question. Who is your favorite character that was part of the Fellowship of the Ring? Here's the thing. Um, I've got a lot of books to read on my plate. And some of those books include the Lord of the Rings series, because I haven't read the entirety of the Lord of the Rings series. I've read the first book, I've seen all the movies, and I've read The Hobbit a few times, but I haven't read the second and third book, um, and I really, really need to read those, because it, it's a fantastic series. I need to read it sometime in the next few years, and I'm going to try to. So I haven't read those books. I did read the first book. I did enjoy it, except I did have to read it for school, so it was a bit rushed, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. Um, but my favorite member, I don't know, I liked, uh, is it, can, am I not allowed to say Frodo? Because he's kind of like the masthead figure of the, of the Fellowship. Um, hey, another village. Sweet. I'll just cross this river for it. I like Bilbo a lot. Um, I liked um, Martin Freeman's uh, performance as Bilbo. He was incredible. But as said in as said in the um, the Screen Junkies on his trailers video, he was an extra in his own movie. Um, but Fellowship, I really like Samwise Gamgee. From what I've seen of him in the movies and from what I've read of him in the first book, he's a great character and. He's essentially just somebody you'd want to you, you'd want to hang around, somebody that you'd want as your friend. So I like Samwise Gamgee a lot. Of course, I do like Frodo and um, Merry and Pippin and Boromir and Aragorn. I like all of them. And I have a lot of respect for Viggo Mortensen, who was asked if he would like to partake in the Hobbit films as, as Aragorn. Uh, but he declined because he ha he actually read the books and said and the Silmarillion and said that there was a 60 year time frame between the, the events of The Hobbit and the events of The Lord of the Rings and so it would make sense for him to be in those movies so I have a lot of respect for him for that I, and I really like his character but I'm going to have to go with Samwise Gamgee uh, number three speaking of The Silmarillion have you read The Silmarillion? no but my friend has it he's going to lend it to me sometime I just have a few more books to finish um, I read I've got, a, I've got a huge stack of books by my bed If I could show you guys I have Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in there, Catcher in the Rye, Slaughterhouse Five, Heart of Darkness. Um, what else is there? Dune. Uh, the last two books in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. And I've already read Hitchhiker's uh, Hitchhiker's books one through three, and Heart of Darkness. And I'm reading Slaughterhouse Five, about to read Catcher in the Rye. But I'm gonna put Silmarillion in that list along with the next two books in the. Lord of the Rings series, so I do plan on reading the Silmarillion, and I probably will within the next year or so, so I will be able to discuss it. So that's all the questions from Terraria, uh, exclamation mark. Uh, now we've got some questions from Space Bob Gaming, uh, just one. 
Would you ever play Don't Starve Together with someone? Uh, yes, I probably would if I had somebody to play it with and if I had the game, but my friend is going to purchase... He's probably going to purchase the Don't Starve Frontier Pack, which has both Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together, two copies of Don't Starve Together, and I'll probably receive that copy of Don't Starve, Starve Together or something, because I've given him a few games in the past and such. So, yeah, I probably will... I pr and I I would when it comes out and if I had somebody to play it with. So yeah, I don't I just don't know if I'd record it. Like I need to play some more Don't Starve. I played it for the episode, played it a bit before and after that. Haven't played much of it since, but I did really enjoy it. I need to play it some more. Um, so that's the question from Space Bob Gaming. We have questions from Elboy Eleven now, who has the exact same two questions repeated twice in two different comments. Um, but those questions are. One, who is your favorite YouTuber other than Nerd Cubed? Um, 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 I don't know. I I always watch a Nerd Cube video whenever I see it, and I always watch either a Let's Play or Rooster Teeth video. So probably Let's Play or Rooster Teeth. Um, or I'm thinking of somebody. They're just not on my tongue right now. I really like Python GB. He's um got a hundred thousand subs and he's got really great videos especially great Terraria series so yeah I like Python GB like Rooster Teeth like um, Nerd Cubed so I hope that answers that question albeit vaguely and number two I heard Skyrim is your third favorite game why don't you record Skyrim on this channel uh, here's the thing I didn't say Skyrim was my third favorite game I don't really know where it is I haven't played much of it lately um, I need to get it con reconfigured, and I messed up on some modding, so I'm straightening all that out. But I haven't gotten far enough in it for it to be my third favorite game. But I do remember a comment uh, a few months ago on a video of somebody asking me what my favorite games were, and then theirs, they said their third favorite game was Skyrim, so he may have seen it there, oh boy, 11. Skyrim's not my third favorite game, though. But, but, that might be one of the games I... I think that is one of the games I plan on doing a Let's Play in at some point. Um, I just have to make it really good. As well as Age of Empires 2 HD, I plan to do a Let's Play in that and probably some more Escapist because you guys want more Escapist. So that answers, uh, that adds to the questions somebody asked earlier. But yeah, I probably will record Skyrim at some point in on this series. Um, it looks like we're about to end day nine. I think we should take refuge in this mountain right here if our horse can climb up. So, yeah, that's it for this episode of the 100,000 Block Journey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. If you have any questions you'd like to ask me, feel free to just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll listen to just about any question. I'll probably answer any question you guys ask me, um, as long as it's a good question and not a troll. Um, more next episode, we will hit F3 again and check our progress. This horse has been very useful so far. Ooh, there's the beautiful moon. So, yeah. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. My name is Six. Oh, wait. Why am I ending it right now? We haven't even put in our hobbit hole yet. Uh, quick, dismount, you horse. Uh, build hole build a hole build a hole quickly quickly uh, uh, you need to get in oh gosh dang it um just put one down I'll get that in the morning probably or something horse stay close I need you because you are useful and we haven't come across any big oceans yet so I don't have to let you go um let's do this real quick just quick little hobbit hidey hole bed and breakfast and sleep. Alright, uh, let's sleep. So anyways guys, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!